and staying with the World Economic Forum, robotics is going to be the next frontier of the tech sector. That's the word coming in from Kathy Lee, head of the AI, Data and Metaverse Division at the World Economic Forum. I caught up with her earlier today and began by asking her about the adoption of Metaverse and the recent report by the World Economic Forum. Metaverse was, uh, you know, part of this hype cycle that's, uh, that's from two, three uh, years ago. And uh, right now, we can definitely see some of the, the slowing down in terms of investment, but it doesn't mean that the concept has gone away. Because if we at the forum always believe that, you know, the metaverse, when we use the phrase, we're referring to the future of the Internet. And there's no doubt that we are spending more and more of our time online. There's uh, more and more of a convergence between our digital life and our uh, physical lives. So if you think about it through that lens, uh, it's not that difficult to think that the future of the in Internet might be different. It might be more immersive. It might be more decentralized. Those are all the features that uh, keep uh, uh, evolving. And then back to the industry and business setting, we've already seen the wide adoption of AR, VR, XR technologies in, for example, advanced manufacturing, mm -hmm. in training, in healthcare, um, you know, where uh, doctors will use it for patient diagnosis uh, and, and other functions. And so those are not going away. And we're seeing a much higher adoption now than, you know, a year or two, two years ago. The technology isn't perfect. But as you saw, more investment gone into the fundamental technology. And at the same time, more use cases are uh, being generated. You will see perhaps a slower than expected adoption, but still a very steady uh, growth across the board. Right. What are the big trends that you're seeing in AI adoption uh, in 2024? What are, the, uh, what are some of the things that you would be watching out for? Absolutely. In AI, that's an even more... I would say uh, in terms of uh, uh, speed, that's, that's an area that's happening. Everything's happening at such uh, kind of a breakneck speed. Um, back in January, when we held our annual meeting in Davos, at that time, even experts were saying, you know, text-to-video type of model would not happen probably for another couple mm. of years. And then, you know, a couple of months later, we mm. have uh, the open AIs, uh, some of the most uh, powerful models that we have seen when it, uh, when it comes to text um, to video direct directly. So you see really that there's so much development uh, in, in, in the space. So we'll continue to see that kind of multimodality uh, development of the model that's uh, being uh, unfolded right now. Uh, and we'll see the models powering, let it be AI agents, let it be robotics, that's going to be the next frontier as well. Which country, according to you, is leading the AI race, the AI revolution as of now? Well, I wouldn't say any countries are leading AI governance because... AI race, the, AI, AI the race, race for AI and AI right. revolution. AI race, I think is pretty obvious. US is, is no doubt is, uh, is uh, you know, one of the uh, the, the leading uh, players and um, thanks to you know the innovation uh, and the R&D that's been unfolding over the past few decades but let's not to forget in other parts of the world for example in India I think India AI mission just uh, stated the ambition in terms of sovereign AI uh, mm. full stack mm. in terms of uh, mm. um, AI's role in innovation and how to uh, stimulate the startup ecosystem uh, Indian already has uh, such a robust uh, AI ecosystem, particularly with startups. I believe the number is something around 31,000 startups and 50% of which are AI startups, but more than 70% of these uh, 31,000 startups are already using AI. Um, yesterday I had the pleasure of meeting with some of them. Mm. It's definitely a very, very promising field. Mm. And that is uh, also the beauty of this technology it's never too late because the, it's a foundational technology upon which you can build so many applications and functions. So it's, it, in a way, it does you know, level the, the playing field. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of News Center. More news and updates continue right here.
For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.